Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Jump On This. This week we're making pasta, but not just any kind of pasta. We're making carbonara, just in time for carbonara day. Okay, so I have some pretty cool history about carbonara. Carbonara is also known as coal miners spaghetti. <laughs> I feel like Giada when I say it like that. <laughs> The first batch was believed to have been made in mid-20th century Rome to feed the Italian charcoal workers. How cool is that? So to celebrate, we're going to step out of my kitchen into Casa Barilla's kitchen and spend the afternoon with Chef Alfonso while he whips up his spaghetti carbonara recipe. If this is the first time that you're checking out my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and join the hashtag chomp on this squad. All right guys, let's get out of here. Casa Barilla, here we come. We're here <laughs> with Chef Alfonso and he's gonna show us how to make his famous Spaghetti alla carbonara. So to make a great carbonara, you have always to start from the pancetta, fresh eggs, we use uh, cage free, fresh eggs, a little bit of parmigiano. I love uh, to be uh, on the classic side for what is the topping with the pecorino cheese mm -hmm. and of course with the fresh fresh pepper. Have a little touch of cream and milk. It helps the process to make it nice and creamy but it doesn't change a lot of with the calorie count which is very important. There is a lot of variation so it's up to the chef to create his own particular carbonara dish. We start to with a little, very little of uh, extra virgin olive oil. We use the pancetta, a slice is very thin, the spaghetti. I, today, for you, I have uh, one of my favorites, which is number five. To make the sauce, it's very simple. You have a little bit of cream, very little, a little bit of milk, a little pinch of salt. I use sea salt because I come from uh, Sardinia, the island, and that's what we use, only in, uh, sea salt. And uh, one of the most important things is that black pepper needs to be fresh. So the pasta is now ready. So the reason why we add a little bit of water is because you want to give a flavor to your pasta. Usually, uh, every single recipe that we do, we have the pasta nice and al dente and we finish always the last minute or two with the sauce. So the pasta gets, absorbs all the flavors, it gets like nice and al dente, but still has a lot of flavor. That's very important. Because you want to make a pasta carbonara and you don't want to make scrambled eggs. So you see that? You see? The temperature of the pasta is perfect. I always suggest you to, to when you cook in the spaghetti in the water, I always uh, go with the tongs, a long, large, safe. So you basically pick up the spaghetti and put it inside the sauce. You have uh, a nice creaminess that you are looking for. Oh, oh, oh. You put it in your plate. You make sure that you have all your bacon on the bottom. You leave it on the bottom of the pan. You put the pancetta on top so it looks great when you plate it. Oh. And then uh, there is two oh. more steps. Very important. Okay. The sharpness of the pecorino cheese oh. and also yes. crushed <laughs> black pepper. Now you have uh, mm. all the beautiful uh, flavors, but also the smell of that black pepper is great for you to taste. Buon appetito! Happy Pasta Carbonara Day! Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you back here next week for another episode of Jump on This.